Hi everyone, so the task of today is to have a go at fixing this ride-on tractor, well, it's not really a tractor, ride-on mower, and I'll show you what's going on. So this is a Honda HF1211, and it's got a tire that keeps going flat. I mean, this, this thing is a real mess. It's not been cleaned for quite some time. There seems to be a lot of oil under here, so I'm not sure what that is. I suspect this gearbox is leaking. Um, but yeah, it works, just not very well. So to get the, the wheel off, it's held in with this washer and a circlip and then a little plastic cap and I've just put some penetrating spray on it Let's see if I can get this wheel off it seems to be quite well stuck I mean, it is moving slightly when I move this but anyway a bit of fuel left, you can see the line. A bit of fuel in the tank. So let's see how we get on with this. It might be that this valve's leaking. It might be nothing to do with the tyre, but I've got my uh, crafty plugger for my motorcycle days, which I'm hoping will be useful. But um, anyway, let's see if we can get this off. <coughs> okay. Not having much luck getting this off. It's it's so finely toleranced between this shaft and this wheel that it's even the tiniest little bit of corrosion on here means it's almost impossible to get this off. So I just keep wiggling it and um, it's not really coming. You know what kind of a hub puller do you need to take that wheel off? Quite a big one. Anyway, I'll keep I'll keep trying. Um, interestingly, I just looked underneath. Uh, the uh, the gearbox is a tough torque. What is that? Seven A B something something something. So yeah, interesting. That needs replacing. I mean, this looks like a real mess. I don't know what's going on with it, but it's properly. There's something dripping there. What's that? Something dripping on the back tyre. It's definitely something leaking. Either engine oil or. It's probably engine oil, actually, because I don't think it's the gearbox, because that's. That's in here, so it's probably maybe a gasket leaking or something. Could do with jet washing it down and then checking for leaks. Anyway, let's see how we get on. See if I can get this wheel off for starters. failed to get this off. I um, I nearly got it off, um, but it was stuck on this last bit here. So past the ring, past where the, the circlip goes, it was stuck on this bit. So I think what I need to do is get some sandpaper um, and, and basically polish this to make it smoother. Um, I managed to get this back on. Just a socket on a 19 mil socket and gave it a whack so that's back on so uh, so basically this is how it goes clip quite 
quite difficult to do with one hand. But that gets pushed down on there. Okay, I got that on. Just uh, it doesn't key in. This key is, is for the shaft, for the wheel, as it sits on the shaft, and then put the cap on the top. So I'll have to have a go at this another time. I am curious as to what is leaking under there, and uh, I might lift the other side up. You can see it's dripping as we speak. Drip, drip, drip. So I'm gonna have a little look under there without getting squashed and see if we can work out what it is. Okay, we're on the other side. And if we look in here, I don't know where you can see that. There's a lot of oil on there. But in the back, I don't know if you can see that. There's There's oil. It looks like engine oil coming from the back. So I think what I need to do is lift the cover off and um, see, if, see if there's any leaks inside the engine compartment. So let's just do that. Okay. I've worked it out. We need to remove this bolt here, which is apparently 13 mil. This hasn't been taken off for a while. It's not too bad. put the, the cutter deck in the lowest position which is there and then you can you can lift this up so this gives you a much better look in the engine so you can see what what's where and I think if we go around the other side we may see what the issue is Filler, isn't it? I don't know if this has ever been. Yeah, it doesn't look too bad. Uh, that lead looks like it's been chewed by something. Look in there, really. Shine a light in. Is it 
maybe that something's gone. One of the gaskets has gone. It's just leaking over everything. The belt itself. The belt doesn't look too bad. So maybe it's not getting on the belt, just the outside of the belt. Well, your pliers when you need them. That's the oil, I think that's the oil drain, surely not, is that the oil drain plug? Blimey, that's pretty, see yeah there's definitely an oil leak, definitely an oil leak. I think it's, yeah I need to clean this up and have a look, it looks like it's leaking from in there. Lovely. Right. More investigation required, I think. Okay, I think I've discovered the leak. I think it's here. This seems to be loose. And I know that's just a, a cap for the oil level. But that it looks pretty loose to me, so I'm going to take this bolt, this, this looks like a 10, I'm going to take that off and have a look, and I check the, dip, the dipstick and it is low, so we'll see what happens, take this off. I've also found this little reservoir here which is empty, and that seems to go into the, into the transaxle, so I don't know if that's the oil, I suppose if it's a tough tool it can be changed. So this is interesting, when the earring itself actually doesn't look too bad, when you stick it in there and it's flush, this hole doesn't line up. So for this to work, it needs to be tilted slightly, which means that there's a gap at the bottom. So that's not very impressive. <clears throat> but anyway, we will stick that back together and uh, see if it leaks anymore. So I screwed it back in and there is a massive gap. I don't know if you can see that. There's a massive gap there. So I think either, well, either I adjust this mounting bracket or I'm gonna to have to stick some kind of sealant around there clean it up and put some sealant on to stop it from leaking because that's just gonna keep on leaking I think anyway we've clearly got work to do on this tractor it's full of grass and mud and uh, it definitely needs a clean a jet wash and then you can see what you're dealing with but if it's leaking oil 
engine oil is going to be low. And that's not good, is it? So, we'll clean this, we'll clean this up, and then we'll see what, see how it's looking. I'm surprised it's not smoking actually, because that's the exhaust pipe. Maybe it doesn't get that far. I need to do an oil change on it anyway. I think that's the oil drain plug. It looks like it. Uh, yeah, it's pretty grimy under there. Pretty grimy. So yeah. Anyway, my fun time's over. I need to go back. Look after the kids. So I'll have to pick this up another day. Thing I've been having issues with is getting the tractor to reverse properly so if you pull this lever all the way back this lever operates this, this shaft here and obviously it operates the gearbox and I spoke to a guy and he said there is some adjustment and it looks like there is a nut up here in the front so I'm going to try adjusting that nut there spanner and see if that improves the reverse position. And it's worth a try. I do not want to be replacing the gearbox on this. I do want to know also what's going on with this because should that have some fluid in it? Don't know. I took it off and it was basically you can see inside there is oil in there. What's, what's going on with this? Anyway, it'd be nice to know if we can change that oil. We get to change it because it hasn't been changed. This mower is like ten years old, so it would be good to know. Oh, hang on, is this the adjuster here? That might be the adjuster actually. Oh no, that's something else. It's a different one. That's probably to do with the brake. Anyway, I'll adjust this and see if it makes any difference.